Sugar Plum, how long have you known me? Not long enough. You want it longer. It's a family-friendly show. That's why we're here. There is breaking news. The e-hex whale has accumulated 400 million hex from Ethereum at its lows. But what's the breaking news here? The breaking news is that he has been doxxed. He is a gentle person, squirrel, duck, or alligator named Alex. Why is this earth shattering? It's because I genuinely thought from the bottom of my little heart that this was Richard Hart accumulating EHEX to pump it. If you go check telegrams, discords, or anywhere else, we were all of the belief. We go, yeah, dude, there's no way anybody else bought EHEX down there. We were wrong. We were wrong. Matty Allen, friend of the channel, has his eyes closed here because he has beautiful eyes. He is interviewing him as I'm posting this live. What did I do for you? I went through and I found all these comments. I literally just fast forward through everything because I wanted to deliver you this information immediately. This changes a lot. A lot of our perspective on EHEX, PX and the ecosystem. If I was to summarize it for you, the short version is, well, we're actually onboarding huge whales. <laughs> we all thought it was Richard Hart. We all thought it was one dude. By the way, he buys Hex live on stream with $100,000. He goes, look at this. And he just wicks it up. So look at this, this e-hex whale, remember it is hex from Ethereum. This is the chart here. Also want to remind you, now not only are you my friend, but this is a weekly chart for e-hex and I have the super trend here and we flipped green. Now, I don't want to give you any false hopium. The last time we did it, it went up a 3x in the bull market. See, I can do this measurement to see how far it did, but this is, this is super bull market, 33x. I don't think we should anchor to that one as well. There was also a time here where it busted up. This is a 2.6x. So we had a 2.6x and a 3x. I think it'll be cool if we got something like that again. Closing from this candle, how far could it go up? Maybe another 2 or 3x. I hope that would be great. If we do that, we start to get back towards the pulse chain prices. But let's go back to Alex. Verified interview. So Alex is going to remain anonymous. <clears throat> Look what he first says. He says on stream, he goes, Richard Hart is a genius. Now, if you disagree, that's fine. Don't worry about that. I just want to tell you something. This dude who literally bought $3.7 million of a coin you thought was abandoned. All right. This dude, like a boss accumulated 400 million EHEX, $3.7 million without blinking. And he thinks that the founder's a genius. I am not here to judge. I'm not here to tell you whether Ricardo Corazon is a genius or AI or whatever he is. I'm not here to tell you that Alex is right or wrong. I'm just here to tell you when we are speculating on the future of growth, we have information here, this little eye. We've come across information. We've been able to identify that a dude with a big purchasing power ability likes this. So we are then aligning ourselves with it. He also says, look at this, he will continue to onboard people. Now, he said specifically, he goes, yeah, I've got a lot of friends. I'm going to onboard them. We don't know what that means. He's not going to go into it. He's not going to speak about it. And... This is how you know it's legit. People with this much money, you don't want to tell people about it. You don't want people to know that you're a target. You can't even turn your back on anyone. You know what I mean? You can't. So it makes some perfect sense. Do you want to take your word on it? I don't know. Is he going to pump on everyone, pump and dump everyone? We don't know either. But it's cool information to see. He couldn't even get out if he tried, by the way. That's how much size he has. He needs to pump it. This is everyone's game, though. Now that everybody's in, we are financially incentivized to promote it, to push the content you believe in. Also, more information. He started accumulating in May 2023. That's what he says, I think. But on the on-chain part, it starts around SEP, September this year, Rectember. He says, I just fell in love with Hex. 
Next thing. He said these funds, so referring to his $3.7 million worth, he goes, I'm willing to lose them, not worried about them. <laughs> it, it, it's kind of funny. He's like this, yeah, 3.7 million, forget about it. I'm not worried about it, whoever. <laughs> That's the game. That's the game. We've onboarded one. This is, as it was happening right now, this is his actual stake hex dot today. So if you see me, friends, I did all these famous posts where if you go to stake hex dot today website, you can paste a person's address and you can see their staking ladder and what they have. This is him, 400 million hex, and then up here is 3.7 million dollars. And imagine that does another like 100x. Wow. Okay. So this is fantastic to see that we have somebody out here supporting. Now, this is super inf important information because it's a real dude. It's not. Just Richard Hart. If it was just Richard Hart, it would be great, but you'd feel a bit more nervous. Why? Because you think, wait a minute. If we keep needing one dude to rescue us, we suck. But we didn't get that scenario, did we? Next thing that Alex says, he says, I read about Ehex dying. Don't really care about that. He also says, we will break the all-time high. I'm like, man, these are some powerful words from someone with a lot of size. But I want you to know, friends, please, 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 tamper down your euphoria. He's got enormous size. He might want to sell at 10 cents. So to get you to buy at 10 cents, who's going to buy at 10 cents? It's people who believe in 50, people who believe in a dollar. Okay, so... I know, friends, I know. I'm excited too, but you got to just remember this is how the game is played. So it's someone on the team, but I'm just preparing you for the future. And right? that's why you like, subscribe, belly button, all family friendly show. Let's go. He also mentions he's not really a fan of the admin keys on Pulse Chain. Interesting, right? So don't think of it as a stab at Richard Ha and Pulse Chain and Pulse X and how our real DeFi has to work because of just the mechanisms. But think about it like this. There's actually people out there who don't want to follow the new shiny thing heard. There are people out here who are like, you know what? I like it. You've been around, you tried and you tested, you're the original one, you deployed on Ethereum. I understand it. That's beautiful to see. Next thing he says, he's just telling everybody, all you have to do is stake and hold. He says, we are all early in the long run. He also mentions, crazy enough, I started in crypto 2020. Now, he doesn't give any background information, and I would advise don't give background information. Even if, if anybody ever tells me personal information about Alex, I'm never going to tell anybody. <laughs> no way. Leave it, friends. Leave it. Let this seed grow. It's planted already. We're going to sit in the shades of the trees of tomorrow. Don't harm anyone. There is no glory here. I am here to help you, okay? I'm here to help you as much as I can. I grab this information from out here in the public space and I put the pieces of the puzzle here for you. And it's here for a reason. Next thing Alex says, he says, I started with Bitcoin, but Hex is my favorite. Remember, he came in zombie virus here. Interesting. He also says, I'm not in stables at all. Take that, bear cucks. He goes, I also like Monero. Now, this is interesting, right? This is, friends, I'm telling you right now. I have never in my life, before Ricardo Corazon came along, I've never heard anybody say that they like only Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Monero. No one. In fact, people who like Bitcoin and Monero usually... They aren't ETH dudes because Bitcoin and Amer Bitcoin and Monero, they're kind of like cousins, right? They kind of fornicate here and there secretly. But Ethereum ain't really in the circle. Why? Because Ethereum has its own privacy and its own store of value and its own smart contracts that they can't do. So Ethereum is like the hot, sexy girl going through the city. Yeah, ficking yourself with the wig on. No one knows you got a wig. The fact that somebody could say, yeah, I like all three, that's unique. So Alex has now said, I'm not in stables at all like Monero. What am I learning from this? That's why I said, no. Ricardo Horazon only likes BTC, Ether, Monero. Put, to put it bluntly, 
he watched a lot of Richard Hart and he says, you know what? I am adopting your philosophy. I like it. I think you're right. I think Bitcoin, and Ethereum and Bonero, proper use cases, as decentralized as we can get. They're basically real DeFi. So I want to make something else. And that's why he made Hex. Hex is also real DeFi. Also, I want to remind you, he's going to remain anonymous. I advise you, friends, there is nothing good that comes out from telling everyone these people exist, okay? He also says, I like Richard Hart streams the most. I was talking to my friend Chris and also my friend Stevie and also my friend Charlie independently, separately. I said to them, man, I just think Richie, I think he's going to onboard someone giant one day. Maybe like someone really big. You just got to get one guy in, just one. And, you know, we're looking at it. And by the way, the prices were down, so no one believed. The prices were down here. We're like, yeah, maybe, I don't know. I think it's dead, etc., etc. You see, it's because the candle colors are red, we don't have any belief anymore. Now that they turn green, things change. Let's go have a look. This is the E hex P hex ratio. He doesn't even care about it, he's not even concerned. And I want you to know this E hex P hex ratio, it's now a fun meme. Don't stress about it. Have both. I think no matter what you do, if you hold, you're going to be okay. Not financial advice. Go speak to one. Go buy bonds. Go do what they say. I don't really care. I'm just telling you, I'm not playing around. I'll only play around if someone capitulates P hex. Now, it's going to take a while to get there. They might capitulate P hex down when it's like 20 cents or 30 cents. You know what I mean? So that might be a lot higher, but not now. And what I'll do by that, I'll like spend some of my E hex to buy P hex. But I think we're just in a fair value zone. I think there's nothing exp premium or expensive here. And you can sit around. I think you stake both, you're going to be fine. I think if you liquidity provide, it's going to be all right. But remember, most of the gains come from capital appreciation. Now, friends, I'm telling you right now, I've spoken to you in the comment section. Please confirm friendship and Twitter Roonies. I've spoken to many people. Look, I'm just going to put it out, put it bluntly as well. You guys, 99%, you're not cut out for this. I've just got to put it to you. I am watching your, your mental state decline in real time when you guys open up PulseX and you guys look at your different ratios of the coins you have. I'm watching you guys look at your different liquidity for like, you know, E hex, P hex, and you're very uncomfortable with the impermanent loss that number switching up and down and you're losing much of birth and you don't know what's going on. Okay. I, I, I see it. So I really, I'm telling you now, I'm not even going to advise. I'm telling you, get out of this. Don't, don't play in this game. Stake both separately. You see them as just two lottery tickets that probably will pay off in the future. We hope. And that's how you meant to see it. Don't play this game. I'm telling you, you're going to get destroyed. The, the ferocity of this green candle only happened because so many people capitulated E hex the lows. So that just tells me, like, we got a long way to go. So please stay away from this game. Now, how can we verify Alex? Okay, so Alex, live on stream, he says, watch the, watch the chart because I'm going to market buy. <laughs> it's kind of funny, man. This guy, he just market bought 100K. Oh, there you go. He market buys. He makes his candle go green. Sir Axis, which is on the channel, also shout out to Mr. Crispy, Crispy Bacon. They were watching him live, and I watched it live. A nice screenshot. Thank you to Mr. Axis for actually showing it and updated on the chart. It's actually fantastic. Isn't it wonderful to see just people like, yes, splurge, splurge the dirty fiat, splurge it in. 100K live, so it is verified. Also, this is Alex's buyers. Look at him. He's been accumulating. This is nothing, friends. This, this is nothing. Look what I told you. Sir Axis, he's being very naughty, isn't he? It's a 12-hour chart. But just to show you what's going on, okay? Look, I just, I've got to tell you right now, please. Listen to me right now. This is E hex and P hex, okay? Separately, the orange line is E hex. A daily chart is naughty. You think a daily chart is long term, it's not. Do you understand me? A daily chart is not long term. Daily charts will freak you out. Put it on a weekly. Promise me, just do this. All the pain and destruction, it gets filtered out in this tiny little candle. Promise me you'll do this. Weekly candles are friendship in crypto. Dailies, heart attacks everywhere. For example, look what the daily was doing from the corrupt SEC. 
Look at this. Look at this. You know how bad we all felt, man. Look at this. Look at this. We literally, we wick down, we come back, bang. You see this? We're closing days under here. Oh, it's all over. I was looking at the weekly candle and I was like, you know what? Man, it looks bad, but whatever. See, it, it doesn't really fix everything, but it puts you in the right state of mind. So Alex has been accumulating a lot. Now you can see this all, see all these greens? Just buy, buy. This is how you do it, man. This is how you do it. He's continuing to buy on the way up. What do noobs do, by the way? Noobs, firstly, aren't even buying eHex at all. The f emotional money isn't buying the eHex. But if this was any other chart, the noobs come in here. They come in here. Maybe there's a f it goes up and then it fakes out and then they get out. And then later on, it goes up and they buy up again. That's, that's what noobs are doing, buying and selling. On the 12-hour chart, it looks like everything is wicking. Please stay away from the 12-hour chart. If you want to pause this screen as well, you can. This is his actual address if you want to have a look at it. You also have his summary here, 400 million EHEX, all the shares, all the yields, insane, $3.7 million. This is crazy. It's crazy, but bullish. I'm bullish on the whole ecosystem. So this is not a just pro EHEX thing. This is, think about it. You got to think bigger. This is pro Richard Hart, pro everything, pushing along. I had to deliver this information for you. So it does make me see the whole ecosystem in a different light. So we learned something today. Number one, we learned. Richard Hart, yes, some of you think, oh, he brainwashed me. Oh, he marketed well. Oh, he got me in. I know. Yes, yes, yes. Get over that. But he's continuing to propagate messages through space and time into giant colossal whales. It's happening. It's not just you, me, and a friends and family. The message is real. It's just that the candles went red. We're like, oh, it's all a scam. <laughs> but it's not. You know it's the candles went red. How many times did I tell you, friends, if I put the green candles like up here, you're like, oh, my God, this guy cured cancer. Wow. Give him a Nobel Peace Prize. All I did was put a green candle up here. I just got some people to psychologically feel like they need to buy. And that's it. So now, okay, this person is a hero if the candle prices are up here and is a scammer if they're down here. Yes, yeah, it really is like that. I also think it's interesting to think about PulseX now because PulseX is now the laggy lag one. Lagging behind, I know it's undervalued. There is good things coming in the future. The buy and burn is going to keep happening. The volume for the ecosystem is going to keep growing. Pulse chains on $50 million of volume. We've already burned 2.5% of the circulating PulseX supply. I mean, that's fantastic. I mean, it just keeps going and then Ethereum pumps and its gas fees get higher and people want to participate in real DeFi. Sure enough, there's going to be a lot of people who want to trade on fake DeFi. That's okay. But it's a bucket sloshing around and the water overflows into our smaller bucket. So we have higher upside. So what do you think about that? Pulse, PulseX, EHEX, PHEX. Alex is like a unique EHEX whale. Like, oh my God, what a boss, man. This is, this is as contrarian as you can get. You're in the contrarian coin of the contrarian ecosystem of the contrarian founder that the corrupt SEC is going in the contrarian freaking financial sector of the world, crypto. You can't get any more contrarian anti-consensus than this. I hope it pays off, and I hope he says, you know what, I don't even need to sell. <laughs> That'd be funny if it gets up to a certain point. Don't forget as well, every year, Maddie has the Pulse Chain Conference. I don't know if there's going to be another Hex Conference. Maybe there will be. So the megaphone is very loud. The megaphone is working. This isn't just make-believe stuff. Like, we're actually saying, hey, it's real DeFi. And look, this D Alex literally comes in, and he says, you know what, I think you guys are right. It just so happens I'm not putting in. $3,700. I'm putting in $3.7 million. The megaphone is working. Make sure you like, subscribe, belly button, all. Shocking the algorithm is what we're going to do. 2024 is our year, friends. Let's go.